the super supplement on the Tuesday Mind Emission on the Toad Cam coming from New York Toad City. Since we've been talking a lot about scenario planning, um, mission planning, and design, um, the book that comes up, I found this over at Barnes and Noble. It's very interesting because this is the little black book of management. It's one of these flip books that has uh, basically uh, two page descriptions of mental model after mental model after mental model. It's very interesting because it's one, it's quite succinct. Uh, two, it is basically um, focused on decision processes. And so this is, this is uh, the little black book of management. Got that? You see that there? Let, let that, Suzanne Turner, let that let really soak in. Okay, little black book of management. In a way, it does have a very um, NLP sort of slant to it, or NLP sort of vibe to it, because it pulls together here in graphical form, so it's very easy for you, right brain visual types, as well as uh, some written description of all these different ways that business schools, if you went to one of the good business schools, uh, or if you studied uh, project management, or anything like that, and you, and you compressed all their different ways of thinking about achieving, achieving ends, about getting things done and things accomplished, uh, and using, uh, using process-based thinking, all the processes, all the mental processes that you might use to um, think about a project, to execute a project, to review a project, to develop personnel, uh, working on the project or to consider the motivation for doing the project, where it would fit into the world. Obviously, it's a, it's a very succinct book. It's quick. It gets right to the point. It's uh, not going off into a lot of advanced theory. It's basically, these are the mental models. So this is, a, this is a catalog of sort of the mental models that one internalizes at business school. Um, now that's really interesting because in a certain sense it's sort of like a very very advanced form of NLP or on the other hand you might say NLP has been fairly oblivious to the fact I, I perhaps even just out, outright amnesic to the fact or too lost or fascinated with its own mental models um, that other people have really picked up on this idea of process-based thinking and run a long way with it and there are many, many different authors, many different schools. One of the ones we touched on before was scenario planning, which is a very big deal in, uh, in senior management. And we also looked at various aspects of mission planning and mission design in a simple way. Um, so in this book here, the little black book of management, um, you'll get, oh my gosh, how many are in here? 100, I guess, 95, 94, 94 different models coming from different points of view. So clearly the, the process thinkers uh, have either directly or indirectly learned a lot from NLP and very much adapted that stuff to the, the business environment, to sort of the real world getting things done environment and created a, a huge number of processes that we can learn, master, uh, refine, exploit, fold back into NLP perhaps and actually um, develop some NLP stuff based on this because what an amazingly good resource. You know, here are people that have already taken the stuff, gone out into the business world, run it through various um, various you know, companies, institutions, etc. Uh, have it come back at them, whittle it down, refine it, shape it more so it works better and it achieves better results. So it very much does appear to me that it's worth taking on if you're, if you're teaching NLP, you're doing NLP, this is, this is probably as good or better than 99% of the so-called quote state-of-the-art NLP out there um, simply because it's been, it's been tested in large numbers 
in the real world and it seems to be stuff that has retained its utility or it's retained its usability solving real problems. So I'm going to leave that there, but I would pick up that little black book and just think, okay, this is one, say one paradigm. The business paradigm is going to use mental models. And one of the things NLP does is look at the mental models that people use in various paradigms. So if you're going to do the business paradigm, you look at that book and you say, okay, here's just a catalog of mental models. But we can go to any other field and find that other fields also have similar catalogs of mental models that they use to operationalize what they're doing in their particular domain. So um, pay attention, take note, make use.